This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Spilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Colerain police are looking for a missing 12 year old boy. Isaiah Hines is believed to be wearing khaki pants, a blue shirt and gray jacket. Police say he was last seen in the area of Highwood Lane in Grosbeck around 7.30 p.m. last night. The family of a missing Butler County attorney says he was found dead in a Tennessee park. Robert Kasai III went missing from Cummins Falls State Park in February of last year. His brother posted on Facebook saying Rangers found Kasai's body. According to our partners at the Journal News, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation found no evidence of foul play. Happening tonight, Below Zero Lounge will be celebrating the cabaret's 11th anniversary as it prepares to close its doors for good. The popular bar and club has become a staple in the local LGBTQ plus community since it opened 15 years ago. The last night will be April 11th. Owner Nigel Cottero and his partner will continue to own their other bar, Tilly's, in Northside. A Covington Park is getting spruced up for spring this morning and you can help. Covington Parks and Recreation is looking for volunteers to help tend to Goebel Park's Pollinator Garden. It's a space where birds, butterflies and bees can all find food. There will be cleaning, maintenance and planting starting at 930 AM. Bring tools and gloves if you have them. Raven. All right, so this morning we're starting off into the 30s, but then warming to the 40s and the 50s. There is a slight chance to see some showers for this evening. Your Sunday just slightly warmer. We will get closer to 60, but not quite at 60. Now the rest of the week, though, uh, heading into next week, we'll warm up into even more 60s with more chances of rain. But your Saturday, a high of 56 for us. Your Sunday, a high of 59. That's your forecast. Have a good one.